The end of queue system is a new technology that we're employing on the I-35 corridor projects. It was developed uh, in conjunction with Texas A&M Transportation Institute and private industry. Uh, the um, idea here is to monitor the queue of traffic, and the queue is is the line of vehicles that back up due to an event. In this case, at nighttime, we have one lane closures and where we're taking two lanes down to one lane. So a contractor will set up a radar detection system that will measure speed of the traveling public. TTI will use some algorithms to predict how much queue is going to develop based on the length of that construction zone or that closure. That triggers electronically information back to the computer system that determines what messages are displayed on the PCMS, or the portable changeable message signs, which are placed well in advance of this radar system. Also, it can, uh, as part of the system, we have uh, arrays of rumble strips, which really is just that opportunity to kind of wake them up, make them alert that they are approaching something ahead. Rumble strips are safe for the traveling public. They're designed to withstand up to 75 mile per hour speeds. If the queue is long enough, they'll encounter a second portable changeable message sign, which will give them some additional information. In all cases, they will go over another set of rumble strips so that, so that the driver will actually encounter two arrays of rumble strips before they make the maneuver from two lanes to one lane. Yes, this system is such that it can be used really anywhere we have a work zone, uh, where we have a one lane closure related to a work zone. We just felt like this was a system that was worth uh, trying and, and getting out here and seeing how it works. And uh, uh, so far the results have been good and, and we're gonna to continue to develop that and tweak it so that in the future, we can use this on other major corridor projects within textiles.